Red Bull Air Race pilots have to be in top physical condition to compete in a constant battle with the highest G-forces found in competition anywhere. Flying in a Red Bull Air Race is much like being in a boxing match. I mean, you're taking a big beating with all these Gs, plus, minus, turn left and right. Compared to a roller coaster ride in which the forces hit up to 3G and Formula One drivers being exposed to 5G, the air race pilots are subjected to as much as 10G and therefore almost double any other sports. When you're submitted to 10G forces, everything is 10 times heavier. In my case, it would be like having an 800 kilogram elephant or car just on top of me for those couple of seconds. G forces basically, what they, what they do is they bring the blood down. The, the heart is only capable of pumping a certain amount of blood into your brain. Now we go out and pull 10 Gs, we've got 40 to 50 pounds of force on these muscles, so we can't allow the head to fall down because once you put the G on, you don't have enough normal muscular strength to bring it up. Because of that, the pilots have to practice hard on those specific muscle areas. Under high G, you can't turn your head, you can't move anything. Once you're under high G, you're locked in position. If you take a breath and, and you're, you're trying to hold it in but still push it out, you can't just let the air out quickly like a normal breath because then we're going to lose consciousness. It's the G-force that make it totally exhausting. It is something that every pilot deals with. It's, it's the difference between life and death in all of those sports.